Switching gears anew at five, Illinois State Police say that they have cut the state's backlog of DNA tests by 48 percent since March of 2019. Director Brendan Kelly participated virtually in today's Senate public health hearing with experts from his forensics unit. WGEM's Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich live in Springfield tonight with more on their report. Mike. Director Kelly says his team is moving Illinois in the right direction following years of negative trends for forensic teams across the country. Now, Governor Pritzker has held this as a top priority for ISP for several years now, and they want to make sure the right information gets to victims of violence and their loved ones, moving them closer to justice. Kelly noted the backlog had nearly 9,300 pending assignments back in March of 2019, and forensic scientists on his team helped bring that number down to nearly 4,860 tests. However, he emphasized state police won't be satisfied until every victim can trust the cause of justice isn't delayed by forensics. We are, we are clearly, by, by any measure, we're moving forward. But these efforts must be sustained and we must continue to support them. We can't stop uh, at, at this point. We have to keep going. Kelly emphasized the DNA team is completing 22% more assignments per month this year than they did in 2019. He says the number of pending sexual assault kits older than a year also dropped from over 1,300 in January to 186 assignments now. The forensics unit also unveiled their sexual assault kit tracking system just in September, and that has helped people see all the information in real time as it moves from the hospital all the way through the process to the state's attorney's office. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Mike Multich, WGEM News.